Hi everyone, this is Simi Tom from Grace Haran. Welcome back to the next section of medication calculations. Today we're going to see about IV medication calculations. Let's solve a problem. Okay. A prescription reads 1000 ml of normal saline to infuse over 12 hours. The drop factor is 15 drops per 1 ml. The nurse prepares to set the flow rate at how many drops per minute. Fill in the blank. Record your answers to the nearest whole number. So, when you get this kind of questions or any other kind of questions, it is essential to read the question at least two times. It will help you to get the, an overall idea about the questions and what the questions expect from us. Okay, so let's read the question again. So a prescription, a prescription means it's a doctor's order. It tells us 1000 ml of normal saline to infuse over 12 hours. Okay, so we have a medication and we got the duration. Then it is mentioning that the drop factor that is 15 drops per 1 ml. That means it is a micro drop. Okay, so if it is a micro drop, then it's like 60 drops per 1 ml. The nurse prepares to set the flow rate at how many drops per minute. So this sentence, when we read this sentence, we can get an overall idea what the questions expects from us. So here is the main subject for this question. That is IV flow rate. So from this question, we can understand that the nurse should find out what is the IV flow rate. So the formula for calculating IV flow rate is total volume into drop factor divided by time in minutes. So if we solve this problem with this formula, we will get the answer. So let's solve the problem. So in this question, it is mentioning that the total volume is 1000 ml and the drop factor is 15. Then time in minutes. So here in the question, you can see that it is mentioning 12 hours. So we have to convert the hours to minutes. So 12 into 60, right? So 12 into 60, that is 720. So we can just put 720. So 1000 ml into 15. That is 15,000 divided by 720. That is 20.8. At the end of this question, it is mentioned that record your answers to the nearest whole number. So when we see this answer 20.8, it does not make any sense, right? Because we need to get the answers in a drops. We don't have any partial system for drops. So 20.8 in this, the last class we already seen about how we can adjust the decimal point. So 20.8, the decimal point, it is greater than 5. That means it's 8, right? 8 is greater than 5. So we can round the answer to 21. 21 drops per minute. Okay. So the answer is 21. I hope this, uh, this is a very simple problem, right? So I hope uh, this information is very beneficial for you guys. See you on the next video with another medication calculations. Till then, bye.